city for Lagos. The city of Lagos, the city that never sleeps. Our Lagos, the center of excellence with over 21 million residents. The people, the energy, the food, the business, the diverse culture. This and many more makes you want to love Lagos. One man. Papa Tinde Olale Regbadamosi is yet to change our lives forever. Papa Tinde was born to the Gbadamosi family in Ikorodu many years ago in 1960s. He is the chairman and CEO of the Red Bricks Limited, the developers of the master plan, well designed, critically formulated estate in Ibejuleki, known as the Amen Estates. At Amen Estate, electricity, water, flood, security is not a thing to worry about to over 400 families who are residents of the estate. With the top-notch equipment, 24 hours electricity, 24 hours general cleaning, solar street light, solar water eater, and more. It plays a huge role in financing a road which he has vigorously and successfully pursued. Amen Estate is a master planned gated development. So here at Amen Estate, we can take electricity for granted, we can take water for granted, we can take the fact that we're not going to be flooded out at the height of the rainy season. We can take that for granted. I would love a Lagos where I can leave my house, walk five minutes to the bus stop, get on a bus to the train station, and get on the train. That would be my dream Lagos. Unfortunately, the growth of Lagos has been very disappointing since 1999. The growth of Lagos since 1999 has been somewhat disappointing. It's not been as fast as it could be, especially considering the kinds of revenues that we've been posting in Lagos, uh, especially the revenue that we've been taking from the local government. We've not given much back by way of investment in infrastructure, services, and utilities. Babatinde says the greatest challenge of Lagos are of many kinds, e.g. Power, sanitation, loss of jobs, pollution of waterways, transportation. The challenges that Lagos has are multifarious. We lack power. That's a very big challenge for a territory of 24 million people. It means 24 million people are largely idle because there is no power. Because of the lack of power, a lot of industries have closed down. Instead, we have churches and mosques occupying the warehouses where industries should be, and therefore we've lost a lot of jobs. We have another challenge of sanitation in terms of solid waste generated from the homes that is not being disposed of properly, and then also in terms of sewage and the way that's poisoning the groundwater, as well as polluting the drainage and waterways. Babatinde says his main priority, as well as the priority of the Action Democratic Party, is prosperity for all, not just a few. With the agenda to get electricity to everyone at a very relatively cheaper rate. Water system in different local governments, fixing and building of new bridges and new roads, also exploiting the waterways policy, eliminating poverty by creating more jobs for the youth in different local governments. Well, the ADP believes in prosperity for all, not just a few. And that's the policy, that's the agenda that we'll be pursuing when we come into office. We'll be looking at electricity that will enable everyone to become productive at a relatively cheaper rate than we're doing now, because right now everybody is relying on generators to be at any level of productivity. We'll be installing water reticulation systems on a local government by local government basis. Some local governments have waterworks, some don't. For those that have, we will be repairing and remediating them and make them functional. For those that don't, we will build brand new waterworks. And then we'll also be fixing the roads to make the movement of goods and, and uh, people easier than it is right now. We'll also, be in, we'll also be exploiting the waterways by implementing our waterways transportation policy, which will revolve around high volume, high speed passenger and roll on roll off ferries that will run the length and breadth of the state. So this will be our immediate intervention 
in the transportation situation of Lagos State. We will form several intervention teams as part of the Lagos Public Works uh, Company Corporation, and they will be based in local governments. So the local government will have a unit, and each unit will have its own asphalt plant, and they will be mandated to hunt for bad roads and fix them. It says it will be addressing the eight local government that are currently on the Lagos Regeneration Plan, like the Oshodi, Solo, the Apapa, Mushi, Ikorodu, including the Ibejioleki, as well as Ikeja. We'll now be looking at the actual personnel and their compensation, as well as recruiting more men and equipping uh, LRU the more. We'll also be looking at LASMA with a view to improving the welfare of the officers of LASMA, as well as equipping them better to be able to discharge their functions better than they are doing at the moment. So more vehicles, cameras, uh, personnel cams, uh, dashboard cams for their vehicles, patrol vehicles, radios, walkie-talkies, uh, as well as breathalyzers to be able to enable them weed out drivers that are on uh, alcohol so that they can stop them from driving and endangering. Looking at staff welfare, this is something that this administration has not done uh, across the board. Uh, medical staff, teaching staff, emergency staff. We'll be looking at their welfare, we'll be looking at their uh, wages with a view to reviewing them to realistic levels. We're not talking just about upward reviews, we're talking about reviews to levels that are commensurate with the state of the economy as it is today. Uh, we're also going to be looking at salaries across the board within the civil service with a view to improving conditions of service for all of our staff um, from root to branch. And the reason we need to do this is because these are the guys that are actually looking after the rest of us Lagosians. And we're not doing much to look after them. That's the truth. We need to, uh, we need to wake up and understand that the more we pay peanuts, the more monkeys we'll get. And we don't really want that. We want the best service. We want to be in the 21st century. We can't continue to pay 16th century wages. The ADP party believes in representation of every area in government. I come from Lagos East, uh, which is Ikorodu. Uh, covers Ikorodu, uh, Ekpe, uh, Ibejuleki, Shomolu, and Koshofe. I come from there. I'm a Jebu by ethnicity. Uh, because I come from Ikorodu. So we had to look at, we had to take a holistic look at Lagos as a state and decide, you know, where to pick from based on my senatorial district. And we decided to go to the West because Lagos West has 10 local governments and it's not represented in government at the moment. Um, so we decided to pick our deputy from Lagos West. We picked from Imeke, which is in Badagri local government, and we picked an Awori person. So we've tried to balance the equation. Babatunde Olalere Badamosi is an impeccable and intelligent man with great integrity. Let's rescue Lagos from Godfatherism. Let's stop lamenting. Let's embrace the new Lagos. Lagos cannot prosper unless its residents are prospering. Vote for me and your prosperity is assured. Under the Action Democratic Party, BOG is a new kind of man for the new kind of Lagos.